Hello everybody, welcome back to Matt's Trains and Tractors. I'm Matt and today we are downstairs in my basement and uh, it's another episode of the layout downstairs and we're going to be checking out some more of Lionel's great rolling stock with some great new features and we're going to check it out today on Matt's Trains and Tractors. Here we go. Alrighty folks, so what you're looking at here is a uh, 30k tank car on your right and a Pacific Fruit Express uh, box car on your left. Now as I said, these are special. So these are uh, two of Lionel's sound cars. And when I say sound cars, yes, I mean they do put out real uh, and appropriate sounds and rail sounds and when I say appropriate I mean that they will detect if they're slowing down or going around a curve or uh, speeding up and uh, they make really great sounds and uh, we're gonna kinda do a little head-to-head -head comparison of the Pacific Fruit Express over here and the GATX 30k tank car over here so let's start with the tank car. Alrighty, so looking at the GATX 30K tank car, you can see that it is very, very nicely detailed. We have very nice detailing over here that displays cargo information. We have nice separ separately applied uh, grab irons and railings over here, a little ladder. Um, very uh, realistic detailing and as you can see it says plate C right there you see that on a lot of tank cars and then you have the uh, road information and tank car model information right there now um, not only are these cars highly detailed and super realistic but they make appropriate rail sounds so uh, what's unique about the tank cars rail sounds is that the sounds are more bassy, they're more hollow sounding, um, and they make a lot of squealing sounds, and occasionally you'll hear a, uh, like a thud or a bump sound, and I'm going to play a bunch of um, examples for you guys later, but right now we're just looking at the main detailing of the car. So let's look at some more sides of the car and some of the electronic controls that it has to offer. Alrighty, so this is the more front side of the tank car, and uh, this uh, side of the tank car is where the controls are. And you're probably saying, wait a minute, Matt, I don't see any controls whatsoever. Well, Lionel has done a great job, again, of concealing them behind here. So all you're going to do is you're going to take this railing, pop it out, and it slides down like that. Just be careful, because it is very nicely uh, put in and it is delicate and then uh, two hands just should be able to twist this counterclockwise yep and then this comes off like that and then you can pull the cover off so as you can see here I've just taken a part of a tank car right off All right so now looking in here let's zoom in a little bit we have some uh, nice componentry here. So here you have a switch on the left for maximum sound or minimum sound. And that's basically rail sound. So if you would like more thud, more squeaking, you put it to the max setting. If you would like less, you put it to the minimum setting. And I have it at the max setting, of course, because it really makes the layout so much more realistic. and. Even though my layout doesn't have any grass or a lot of accessories like that, it makes me feel like I'm on real railroad. Alright, so then on the right we have a sound, no sound switch. You're just going to have to excuse the phone ringing in the background. So on the right we have sound, no sound switch. Uh, that means that are you going to get sound or are you not going to get sound? And right now we are going to get sound. We're going to get 
um, we're going to, yes. So this is basically yes, no for sound. And then on the left, that's how much sound do you want. So that's basically what we have. And then I believe right here, well, maybe not. I thought that might have been master volume. I'm not sure. I, I believe there is a master volume uh, screw in there that you can uh, adjust. And I'm using a screwdriver, Phillips head, as my pointer. All right, so let's look at the other side. Um, All righty, so the other side of the tank car is nicely detailed as well. And I know uh, this is not a complete review, but um, I really just want to get you guys to notice like how much time and effort Lionel has really put into making these really realistic. And when I saw this at my favorite train store, uh, model train store that I go to, I was like, wow, Dad, we need to get one of these. And uh, sure enough, we did. And then we liked it so much that we even got another one. And we're going to look at that soon. But we're still on this one. So again, we have separately applied uh, handlebars here and railings. Then we have a nice ladder that goes up top here. And then right up here, we have the top and the cover. And then this closes like that. So that is pretty realistic and I don't think that this comes off and this does not come off either. Alright, let's look at the other side and then we'll move on to the other sound card. Alright, so Lionel has made this side of the tank car a little bit different here. So as you can see, you have um, two hazard signs supposed to one on the other side. You have a uh, hand brake wheel over there. Um, and you also have this tank over here that looks like it uh, might be some sort of air tank or whatever. Now let's just make a quick notice here that this railing does not come down and this does not open up. So the only part that opens up and gives you access to the controls is the other side back there that we looked at before. And uh, two reasons. Well, you only need so many controls, and they just fit that on the other side of the tank car. And also, you can't get this off without uh, risking to break the handbrake wheel or the hazard label. Now, also, I uh, just want to make note of one thing. Uh, Got to zoom out real quick. Hold on. But these couplers do open. So there's a little tab on the other side. And then also, you can use a magnetic track. To open it up like that and it does not short out the track when you use the tab it doesn't go down far enough to short circuit the uh, middle rail all right let's move on to the next sound car all righty folks now looking at the pacific fruit express the union pacific box car this car is also extremely detailed as well and it makes uh sound just like the other one does that's why it's called a sound car all right so uh this car is very, very detailed. I'm going to have to use my uh, fingers here, pardon me. Um, so you just open this, and this door opens. Just be very careful. It kind of reminds me of uh, Atlas's very detailed class or uh, line of cars. Uh, comment below. I forget the name of the I forget the name of the cars that they make that are really, really detailed. Um, but anyway, as you can see in there. I'll zoom in for you. It's really just electronic componentry. It's uh, the uh, switches and controls are not located there. They are located on a different part of the car. I'm pretty sure it's underneath the car. All right, so we're just going to close this up. And then that little lever pops in just like that. All right, let's move on to the... Uh, end of the car. Alrighty folks, this side of the car is also very very detailed and so as you can see here we have a uh, ladder, separately applied uh, ladder, we have a brake man wheel over here and this coupler just like the tanker car has a tab right here that can open it or it can be opened with the um, uh, 
electro track the magnetic the electromagnetic track that throws this and just like the tank car the tab doesn't go down far enough to short circuit your power All right so this side is also extremely detailed like I was saying before um, they've done a really nice job with this and also we're gonna take a quick look at the top of the car there's, uh, there's some incredible detailing up there as well alrighty folks looking at the top of the Union Pacific Fruit Express boxcar. We just have some openings up here, and um, this is what really reminds me about those super detailed Atlas cars. Um, is because these have little tabs right there, and there's a little handle right there that pops open. And look at that; it opens up, and you can even see inside. How cool is that? How cool is that? It is really cool. Alright, close that up. And all of these do, in fact, open. Open, see? The ones on the other side open up as well. Right, you see? They open. So, uh, whatever you want to put down there, there's not much you could put, maybe a little, uh, letter but uh they do open up alrighty All right. folks looking at the underside of the car um it is extremely detailed and uh it is very nicely done so we have both trucks here we have dual um uh electricity pickups for the middle rail and then just like the tank car we have sound no sound and that's do you want rail sounds or do you not want rail sounds and then we have maximum and minimum sounds. And right now I have it in the minimum sound uh, just because since I had two on the layout. Well, guess what? It's going to max. So that's how much sound do you want. Alright, I know it's not on any tracks right now. But um, I just want to show you that this, that both sides, these doors do open up. Uh, Might be car. There we go. See, it opens up. Yep. Right like that, guys. All right, like that. Very, very nicely detailed. And um, I wouldn't say that the material is necessarily cheap or cheesy. I would say that it is that it is Lionel's more um, thinner plastic. But honestly, it's it's pretty durable and uh, you know it, it holds up alrighty folks overall these cars are amazing the Union Pacific Fruit Express was uh, is awesome and the uh, 30k GATX tank car is awesome now both of these cars are amazing now talking about the box car um, I feel that that has an amazing amount of detail. So Lionel has definitely put a lot of thought and a lot of effort into making these cars as detailed as possible. Now, the speakers, on the other hand, they respond to the controls fine. You know, sound, no sound, that works great. Maximum sound versus minimum sound works great as well. Um, just one thing that I'd like to notice is that on the Pacific Fruit Express car, uh, the Union Pacific box car, the sound quality from the speaker is just a little muffled. And uh, I'm not sure if it's like when it goes over uh, dead spots or uh, not as strong powerful spots, but uh, the power on this layout is pretty, pretty good. Uh, my dad and I are still working on uh, fixing some power stuff like that. And the sound quality... I'd say 90% of the time is awesome and the sounds are really realistic. Alright, so one more thing I'd like to say. Tomorrow's gonna be 75 degrees, so I'm gonna take the Husqvarna out tomorrow and we're gonna do a little uh, fixeroo on it. We're gonna replace the air filter tomorrow. That'll be tomorrow's video, guys. I'm gonna do a two day, two in a row video. Alright, fellas, let me make one thing clear. My camera is on low battery. And so uh, that's why I've had to turn up the exterior lights. And also, my external light attachment is uh, 
dead. So, um, and I like having that little light because it acts as like a little studio light and it takes. One thing that I would like to make clear is that uh, Lionel states in uh, whenever you buy these, you get a little instruction manual on how to uh, operate it. First car is the sound car. That's what we're looking at right here. Um, anyway, Lionel states in the instruction um, that you should space the cars out four to five cars apart. So uh, I always try and space the cars out as much as I can, but at the same time, I like the sound, so I don't want to have to wait for the whole train to go by just before I get some more rail sound. Um, but also what you could do is you could put them right next to each other and turn the sound off. So basically the possibilities are endless here, and that's what makes this aspect of model railroading so fun, and especially having a more realistic railroad who wouldn't want that, right? Alright. Alright. Let's get this roll. Alright, so a little more realistic shot here. High speed freight train coming by. Here's a uh, final shot just to close it out. I'm Matt from Matt's Trains and Tractors and I'll see you later.